So today I'm going to share with you my stats, my extracurriculars, and just everything that I put into my college application. Because um, on my last video I got a couple of requests to do like a stats video, and at first I was kind of like, why would I do this? My grades are just not that good. Why would anyone want to see these like a little bit above average grades? Then I realized during my college search last year, I was looking for videos like this too, and all I could find on YouTube was how I got into all these IVs with my perfect scores and perfect grades, which just like for me personally was not realistic. I was kind of looking for videos like this where I could find more relatable um, and realistic scores and GPAs. So I decided I'm gonna make this video for people who are like me, a little bit above average grades and scores. So here is a video for you. So if you want to see the colleges I applied to um, and the colleges I got accepted, waitlisted, and denied from, you can check out my last video, which was my college decision reaction video. So yeah, I'm just going to get started. I have some notes with me. So yeah. All right. So a little bit about me first. I go to a private Catholic school. I just come from a normal middle class family. I am a girl and I am Asian. Um, I'm Filipina. I know some of you probably are confused why you got that Spanish last name. I've had to correct so many people in my life. Yes, I'm Asian, I'm Filipina. So yeah, that's just a little bit about me. Now I'm gonna move on to my statistics. So before I like tell you my GPA and everything, I throughout all of high school was just a like normal student. Like I never, I'm definitely not the smartest in my school. I got pretty good grades, just not like amazing grades. I got a pretty good score, just not an amazing score. So yeah. Let me read it to you. So my weighted GPA throughout high school was a 3.9. Um, that's including my first semester of senior year. Not including my first semester of senior year. I think it was around a 3.85. So yeah, um, my school does a weighted system. I don't even wanna know what my GPA is unweighted because I already know that number is about to be low, low. So I don't even wanna know. As you can see, my GPA is not over 4.0. I don't have that perfect high GPA, but it's still a pretty good GPA. So my ACT, I took the ACT three times and I just never took the SAT. Um, I, based on my PSAT, I just knew that I would like the ACT better. Um, I didn't study for it, which is kind of dumb. Don't be like that. Um, but then also if you're like that, Oh well, it's okay, I made it, we're good. I got a 27, I took it three times and I think my super score was like a 29 or 30, but most of my schools didn't accept my super score, so I kinda just, I just sent the 27. But yeah, it's a pretty okay score, but once again, not, not perfect, but I still got into college, so all that matters. Um, I took four AP classes throughout high school. I took one junior year, which was A push, and then three this year, which is AP Gov, AP French 5, and AP Computer Science Principles. Um, last year on my A push test, I got, or A push exam, I got a four, but I don't think I had to submit that anywhere. And then my school doesn't rank. Um, if I had to assume what my rank in school would be, I think it would probably be like top 50, top 40%. Um, but once again, I don't know. Those are my statistics. Now we're gonna go into my grades and the classes that I took all through high school. Um, freshman year, I took all regular classes. Um, I think the reason I took all regular classes was because I forgot to sign up for honors classes and I just like didn't take the exams to like get out of the classes. Anyway, it's fine. Um, so yeah, I took all regular classes and freshman year, I'm not gonna lie, I focused on my social life a lot. So my grades were not as good as they could have been considering that they were pretty easy classes and all regular. Um, I just like did not focus like a lot of time on my grades and my classes. So they are relatively low. I just like totally did not think about that during the time. If there are any freshmen watching this, let me just tell you, focus on your grades. Like be like have a good time and focus like on making friends and everything too. But don't neglect your grades because they will come back to bite you in the butt later on. Especially because my my GPA is weighted. Um, 
freshman my freshman year GPA really like ruins my GPA. I just want to add that freshman year, um, why my grades were kind of lower for being regular classes is that I really focused on my social life and like popularity, which is kind of stupid, especially because I'm not even friends with those people anymore. But honestly, like high school memories, they last forever. Your grades and GPA in the long run do not matter. They matter for college and everything. I'm sorry, I'm speaking the truth here. As much as I beat myself up about what? Speak your piece. Uh, he's interrupting me, what? Correction, high school matters when you're in high school, but after it, it don't mean shit. It don't mean bull poop. So as much as I like to beat myself up about not getting perfect grades in high school, I made a lot of really great memories that I wouldn't like exchange for perfect grades. So if you were like me and kind of focus on making memories instead of focusing on your grades, that is okay. Do not beat yourself up about it. If you don't have perfect grades, like it is okay because I made it into college. I got into actually quite a few colleges, um, colleges I didn't even think I would get into. So don't even worry about it. Sophomore year, I then took four honors classes and then everything else was regular. So as you can see, the rigor of my classes got harder, which I think colleges like to see. Aggressively throughout high school, I started taking harder and harder classes. My grades, I mean, kind of stayed the same within the A, B, A, A minus, B plus, B, B minus range. Um, but since the rigor of my classes were getting harder, technically my grades were getting better. I don't know. Then junior year, I took one AP, five honors classes, and then two regular classes. Since I went to a private Catholic school, I had to take a religion class, which was a normal regular class. So it would drop, bring my GPA down a little bit, but it's okay. So as I said, I took one AP. So rigor of my classes got harder. I took a push. Um, and then I started taking more honors classes. Um, and then senior year, uh, I'm taking three APs, four honors, and one regular, which is my religion class. So yeah, those are my grades and classes. As you can see, I did relatively like a little bit above average, not like the perfect grades, but also I didn't get any C's, but it was a lot of mixes of A's, A minuses, B's, B pluses, and B B minuses. And if you're like me and don't have like the perfect scores, once again, do not worry because I got into college with those grades. Okay, next up I have my extracurricular activities. So I'm gonna tell you everything that I put on my Common App. Um, you can put 10 things on your Common App, so I'm just gonna list those things. My extracurricular activities um, was where I was really able to flex a little bit. And I feel like they kind of made up for the like not perfect scores and grades. So most colleges do a holistic review. So if you were to have like pretty low grades, but you had really, really good extracurriculars, your extracurricular activities will probably make up for your low grades. So I feel like that's what kind of what happened with me. So yeah, I'm gonna list it in order of what I listed in my common app. So first I have my, I had an internship an internship so I worked at a museum on a teen council I was on the Smithsonian National Museum of Asian Arts Teen Council um, which was an internship technically also I'm just very blessed to be living in an area close to the Smithsonian museums so um, that opportunity was really accessible to me so I'm about to start saying my extracurriculars at school and they will be numerous but once again I went to a small private school so I was able to do a lot of things and get a lot of leadership positions due to the fact it was really really easy to get involved at my school but if you don't have that same opportunity then don't worry like if you have some sort of leadership um, that already brings a lot into your application so moving on um, the next thing I have on my extracurriculars is that I was in student council um, for all four years of high school. So freshman year, I was freshman class president. Sophomore year, I was sophomore class president. Junior year, I was just a junior representative. And then senior year, I became student body president. So that, I believe, brought a lot into my application. But as I said earlier, if you do not have the 
these super, super high ranking positions, don't worry, as long as you show some type of leadership, you are fine. Okay, then the next thing is um, my volunteer work. Um, so I volunteered in the Philippines um, last summer. So I put that down in my Common App. I volunteered as a teacher's assistant in an elementary school in the Philippines for about a week. Um, just teaching the kids English and like the creation story since it was a, a Catholic school as well. Um, and I volunteered by myself. So yeah, that was a really good experience. So I also put that down. Showing some sort of volunteer work is always really helpful. I think it does add a lot to your application. As I said earlier, I had a lot of leadership positions in high school because um, I was just really involved and it was really easy to get leadership positions. So I was president slash co-president slash head of blah, 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 of three clubs. I was co-president of Sustained Dialogue, which is a club for having moderated discussions on topics that aren't typically talked about in a classroom, like racism and mental health and things like that. Um, and then I was co-president slash head of marketing and layout of my school's literary magazine, and then I was president of photography club. Um, the next thing I have was that I was in theater for all four years of high school. So I was involved in the musical for all four years. I was ensemble for the first three years, and then I finally got a role senior year, but I was never able to perform it. So that's kind of sad, but it's okay. I still had a fun experience rehearsing and everything. I was only in one play my junior year. Um, I was a choreographer for the musical for two years, and head of marketing and publicity for two years. And then this year I was head of Playbill, so I got to make the Playbill and everything. So yeah, I was really, really, really involved in theater because I loved it so much. Um, and I did a lot of things for theater. The next thing I have is um, working for the hackathon. My school has a yearly hackathon. Um, and so I have been on the team for the past two years, being the head of marketing and graphics and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, that was really fun and this year I was on the like leader team. I have two more things so I put that I was on the symphonic wind ensemble even though technically it was a class I considered it an extracurricular um, so I was on the in the wind ensemble for three years I played the French horn and I kind of switched between second and third chair and then lastly I put that I was a freelance photographer I wanted to show that I had a job so even if you have like a couple like one or two extracurriculars just as long as you show passion and like that you're passionate about something um, colleges will love that. I just had quite a lot of things because I first of all didn't really know exactly what my one passion was so I kind of stuck between the realms of like art and then just like social justice and then technology. So I got to do kind of all of those things in marketing which I liked and then I have like went ensemble which was more art and like photography club, art, publicity, technology, and art. So um yeah, so just like as long as you show that you're passionate about something, it's just really good. I've seen a ton of videos of people getting into Ivy Leagues only doing three extracurriculars, just as long as you show a lot of time and dedication to all of those things that you do. So I was kind of confused about what I wanted to do in life. I kind of, I, ne I didn't spread myself too thin. I kind of just put a lot of work into everything I did and I did a lot, which honestly, was kind of a reason why my grades were not as good as they could have because I spent so much time focusing on my extracurriculars because I was in so much but like that's what I like to do. I think that is it. If you have any other questions, literally anything, any video ideas, please let me know. Um, I'd love to make it especially because we are in quarantine so I have so much time on my hands and I get out of school pretty early so um, yeah, I'll basically have like two months of nothing to do. So please let me know what other videos. Um, I'm excited to make college videos once I figure out where I'm going to college. I don't even know yet. Um, so yeah, thank you all for watching. Ian, do you want to say bye? Be sure to hit that bell. Be sure to hit that bell. If you made it to the end and made it this far, just get ready for my next video. That is going to be so funny. It's like... <laughs> It's a, a quarantine day in my life, like school edition. Um, and it's it's like literally like the funniest video I've ever made. So subscribe, you should subscribe. I'm planning to make a lot of videos. 
and subscribe to Ian too. Um, once again, thank you all for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye.